Hi guys, welcome to animationscope.com. My name is Ram and today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to render jewelry scenes or anything like that in 3D Studio Max and Keyshot using a renderer. So let's get started with the tutorial and let's open the scene. So I'm going to file, open recent and I have this ring which I have downloaded from 3dmodelfree.com. I think you guys are aware about uh, this website. So what I have in the scene, this is the ring which I have and if you see we have a metal part and we have diamonds over here at the center and on this side. So what I'm going to do is we have to prepare the scene for key shot. So for that what I'm doing, I'm going to my materials and the material what I'm going to do is I am just taking one material slot and naming it as diamond let's say big diamond small and metal okay it's not necessary but for now I'm just changing the colors of these materials and just applying this material to this geometry here also like this let's make it something like red okay and this metal part let's say a little bit of green you can choose any color of your choice okay so let's export this scene to Keyshot because now we are going to do the rendering part inside of Keyshot so just click on file export and I'm exporting it in a 3ds format you can also choose other format like FBX and OBJ but for me 3ds format is very good alright so I'm exporting it like ring yeah. save okay so we are done from 3ds max and let's jump into keyshot for the rendering part okay so now we are into keyshot and this is the interface of keyshot you can have you can see that this is the main menu in which you have options like open import and saving the file and edit render view help so for importing our scene which we have exported from 3ds max we can simply go to file and click on import or you can hit ctrl i or you can go to import button which is at the bottom of the interface so click on import and let's open the file okay this is the file and it is asking some general options like uh, you want to center the geometry I am leaving these option as it is and click on OK. OK, so you can see Keyshot is rendering the scene into the real time. So you can scroll your mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. You can hold it down, the scroll wheel, hold it down and you can move, drag it from right to left up and down but we have some problem in the geometry so you can go to edit and go to scene and this in this window in which, which is known as a project window you can see the some settings for the scene material environment and so on so what I'm going to do is you can simply by going to scene window you can select the geometry because this diamond have some problem some placement problem and definitely we can sort it out by going to the scene properties you can see the name of this this uh, mesh is geosphere 0 so you can translate let's say 50 okay we need to move it down 100 I think 100 is fine but I think there is some problem with the rotation as well so 
you can go to rotation let's see okay 45 is too much let's make 10 okay so we have to make a negative value i think i think it's fine okay fine and i think the diamonds are still coming a little bit out so let's make a y translation as well okay we need to make it negative okay fine all right so our scene is ready and let's do some material setup so you can simply go to the library tab click on library and you can see keyshot has so many materials predefined materials you can see then they, these are the presets to for our scene so we have cloth and leather we have glass so what we need here is gemstones so we have a preset of diamond as well let's see how it looks i'm just clicking and dragging it on our diamond and you can see it's looking uh, really good and let's do it for the other diamond and then you can try these gemstones as well if you are not happy with the diamond uh, you can have this let's say emerald you can let's zoom it a little bit uh, I'm not, ha not happy with it so yeah, you can try crystal you can also change the angle sometime angles are also matter than how the matter how the material is looking okay let's go with diamond for now and let's drag it on the other diamonds as well and now let's go to metal and you can also sort it out by metal there are some subcategories like aluminium brass chrome copper and we have let's say chrome let's try this chrome okay not bad after updating the material allow 5 6 seconds uh, to get this material updated because slowly slowly it's getting better and better you can see okay let's go to we have some precious metals like gold so let's try gold you can see there is a small line and basically it's happening because of the uh, we have selected this material so simply click anywhere in the viewport to get rid of that outlining I think gold is looking fine and let's change the camera angle okay so right now we are rendering it with the default environment so environment means we are into this environment you can see if you you can see there is a sphere in which we have a kind of studio setup you can see there is a light okay so let's see if we change the environment and how we can change it so go to environment tab you can see here you can click on this library and click on environment and here we have some presets of environments let's say interior so we have these options for example if you are rendering something on your office desk you can choose from these environments uh, you want some studio lighting so click on studio and you can just simply drag on the scene to change the look see now we have a different kind of lighting on our geometry see you can try some of these to get the desired result uh, I'm quite happy with this one also now the thing is as we are saving this file into a JPEG format and you want to get rid of 
this background so in that case what you can do is you can go to your setting edit and edit environment and you can choose you can also rotate the environment from here you can increase the contrast and brightness you can change the color of the background as well so what it will do it will not change the environment is it only affect your background this thing this gray part so what I'm doing clicking on color and you can see we have the lighting of our environment but we have a white background you can change the color from here let's say I'm making it black or you can also choose a backlit image by clicking on backlit image you can let's say I have this BG and okay so you can choose your own backlit image you can switch off ground shadows these shadows which are coming from on the background you can switch switch it off from the ground shadows you can also ch switch on the ground reflections and you can see we have reflection over here all right so these are some options to control the environment we have some camera options as well so in these camera options we can lock and unlock our camera like by just clicking on this button and we have other options like depth of field you can click on depth of field let's say for example I think you guys are aware about this depth of field uh, you can focus on one part of your geometry or your scene let's say if I zoom like this and let's say I want to focus on this part and I want this part to be a little bit blur so what I can do is simply click on depth of field and you can click on this point of focus click on this and you can select any part of your scene by just clicking on this and then you can click on done and you can see now this part is slightly blur and this part is in focus all right so let's go down and we have some miscellaneous setting like uh, you can have some grid on the background but right now I don't want any grid of this and the settings for the window of the key shot the rendering window and we can check this on the render setting as well so right now I need to render this scene so you can simply go to this render button click on render and these are some settings for output you want to render a still image a animation or a key shot VR so what is this key shot VR we will cover it in our coming tutorials hopefully and right now I going uh, I want to change the size of the render let's say I want to make it 1280 and right now it is rendering 300 dpi which is usually we use it for print so right now I'm just making it 72 dpi and if you want to change the format you can change it from here you can render it in png format or jpeg i'm just saving it in a jpeg format and i'm going to quality so we have maximum time we have maximum samples and we have some advanced control so by default these values are around 16 samples you can increase it but i think 16 is fine this pixel blur which is by default is 1.5 you can adjust it uh, I'm using 1.2 uh, for just a little bit sharpness in my image anti-aliasing which is by default is 1 you can increase it according to your need which actually controls the edges of the scene so I'm just increasing it to let's say 2 or you can increase it to 4 whatever you need and you can increase the shadows shadow quality if you want sharp shadows you can check this box and we have enabled depth of field in our scene but I don't think that it is very necessary we can do this in our Photoshop as well so I'm just switching off the depth of field 
effect from the camera I'm just switching it off because it will increase the render time too much so let's get back to render options from this render button and just render our scene so now Keyshot is rendering and saving the image in the Keyshot directory the default directory and once it's completed it will automatically get saved into your into the default directory in my case it's in my documents in Keyshot library and once the rendering is 100% completed you have to click on this close button in order to save it just click close and the file is now saved in the default directory so here's the render all right so i hope you guys found this tutorial useful thanks a lot for watching goodbye